Good morning. Our opening song is number 420, Sing a New Church. Summoned by the God who made us rich in our diversity, gathered in the name of Jesus, richer still in unity. Let us bring the gifts that differ and in splendid varied ways sing a new church into being, one in faith and love and praise. Radiant risen from the water, robed in holiness and light, male and female in God's image, male and female God's delight. Let us bring the gifts that differ and in splendid varied ways sing a new church into being, one in faith and love and praise. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, the grace and peace of God our Father, the love of Jesus, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with all of you. Well, today we have a, a saint to celebrate, a Saint uh, Catherine of Siena. And Catherine was uniquely called to challenge the church. Um, in fact, she is uh, probably responsible for the church going from Avignon, France, back to Rome. She was feisty. She was uh, one who would even fight with God. But she expressed her mind. And she was a great... Um, spiritual influencer, um, not only in people of her own day, but also in our own day, because she was uh, a mystic, and she uh, shared with us many writings. Um, let me just give you a little insight into our first reading. It's, <coughs> again, the book of Acts, but <coughs> and it's about Paul, and he's going around to different cities. He's in Antioch. We only get half of the reading. Tomorrow is the other half, and that's why it's going to sound so strange. He gives us um, the history of the Israelite people, you know, the Jewish people. And eventually he'll get to Jesus. When I was reading it this morning, I was saying, come on, come on, come on, come on, Paul, get, get, get to the point. But you only get half the point. Just realize that he will eventually get to Jesus. But we only get, um, I think, to David this morning. So as we gather... Let us call to mind our sins as we prepare to celebrate these sacred mysteries. I confess to Almighty God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done and what I have failed to do, through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore, I ask, Blessed Mary, ever-Virgin, all the angels and saints, and to you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Let us pray. O God, who set St. Catherine of Siena on fire with divine love, in her contemplation of the Lord's passion and her service of your church, grant through her intercession that your people, participating in the mystery of Christ, may ever exult in the revelation of his glory, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. A reading from the Acts of the Apostles. From Paphos, Paul and his companions set sail and arrived at Perga and Pamphylia. But John left them and returned to Jerusalem. They continued on from Perga and reached Antioch and Pisidia. On the Sabbath, they entered into the synagogue and took their seats. After the reading of the Law and the Prophets, the synagogue officials sent word to them, my brothers, if one of you has a word of exhortation for the people, please speak. So Paul got up, 
motioned with his hand and said, Fellow children of Israel and you others who are God-fearing, listen. The God of this people, Israel, chose our ancestors and exalted the people during their sojourn in the land of Egypt. With uplifted arm, he led them out, and for about 40 years he put up with them in the desert. When he had destroyed seven nations in the land of Canaan, he gave them their land as an inheritance at the end of about 450 years. After these things, he provided judges to, up to Samuel the prophet. Then they asked for a king. God gave them Saul, son of Kish, a man from the tribe of Benjamin, for 40 years. Then he removed him and raised up David as their king. Of him he testified, I have found David, son of Jesse, a man after my own heart. He will carry out my every wish. From this man's descendants, God, according to his promise, has brought to Israel a Savior, Jesus. John heralded his coming by proclaiming a baptism of repentance to all the people of Israel. And as John was completing his course, he would say, What do you suppose that I am? I am not he. Behold, one is coming after me. I am not worthy to unfasten the sandals of his feet. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Forever I will sing the goodness of the Lord. Forever I will sing the goodness of the Lord. The favors of the Lord I will sing forever. Through all generations my mouth shall proclaim your faithfulness. For you have said, my kindness is established forever. In heaven you have confirmed your faithfulness. Forever I will sing the goodness of the Lord. I have found David my servant. With my holy oil I have anointed him, that my hand may be always with him, and that my arm may make him strong. Forever I will sing the goodness of the Lord. My faithfulness and my mercy shall be with him, and through my name shall his horn be exalted. He shall say to me, You are my Father, my God, the Rock, my Savior. Forever I will sing the goodness of the Lord. Alleluia, 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 Alleluia. Jesus Christ, you are the faithful witness, the firstborn of the dead. You have loved us and freed us from our sins by your blood. Alleluia. Alleluia, Alleluia. The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. When Jesus had washed the disciples' feet, he said to them, Amen, amen, I say to you, no slave is greater than his master, nor any messenger greater than the one who sent him. <coughs> if you understand this, blessed are you if you do it. I am not speaking of all of you. I know those whom I have chosen, but so that the scripture might be fulfilled, the one who ate my food has raised his heel against me. From now on, I am telling you before it happens, so that when it happens, you may believe that I am. Amen, amen, I say to you, whoever receives the one I send, receives me, and whoever receives me, receives the one who sent me. The Gospel of the Lord.
yesterday, I suggested that a practical application of the readings would be that when we go forth, when we do something important, when we want the Lord God to be a part of our mission, a part of the going forth, that we would sign one another and you know, may the Lord be with you in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Today, we have an extension of that in our gospel reading. You know, this is um, the Last Supper experience of Jesus. This is um, chapter 13 where he begins to talk about um, their need to go out and proclaim the gospel. Um, actually, it's not the Last Supper experience, but he wants to send them out. But they need to realize that they are not working just by themselves. And we can't either. When we desire to really go out and share Jesus, to share the gospel, to share the Christian way of life, we need to listen to this last sentence of our scriptures. In many, many, I say to you, whoever receives the one I send receives me, and whoever receives me receives the one who sent me. It is the Father and the Son who go with us to proclaim the gospel. And so when we begin to talk about Jesus, we can say a little prayer before to the Father and the Son that we truly might act in the ways of the Spirit to form hearts, to change lives, to bring people to Christ. It is our mission. It is the mission of the church and thus our opening song to build a new church. So may we realize as, as gifted as we might be, as um, famous as we might be, it is the Lord who gives us both of those qualities to go forth and proclaim the gospel. And thus we can think also of Catherine of Siena, how she realized she really needed to do what she did because the Lord urged her on, but was also with her, um, whether in prayer or in any of her activities. Let us present our intentions to the Lord our God as we pray. We pray for the church that it truly may see itself as an instrument of proclaiming the gospel to a world that is filled with all kinds of darkness and that they know the Lord is with them. We pray to the Lord. We pray for all of those with COVID-19 um, for those who care for them, that there truly really may be a healing, we pray to the Lord. We pray for all of those who proclaim the gospel in various ways, that they truly may know the Lord is with them, we pray to the Lord. <laughs> we pray for all of those who are sick, especially the dying, we pray to the Lord. We pause to add our own intentions in silence. We pray to the Lord. And we pray for all who have died, especially for Marvin and Myrtle Rentmeester. We pray to the Lord. Loving and gracious God, we place our lives into your hands. We ask for your strength, your grace, and your ministry to proclaim the gospel in our own day. We ask our prayer through Christ our Lord.
Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you. Fruit of the earth and work of human hands, it will become for us the bread of life. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you. Fruit of the vine and work of human hands, it will become our spiritual drink. Pray, my brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, our Heavenly Father. Accept, O Lord, the saving sacrifice we offer in commemoration of St. Catherine, so that, instructed by her teaching, we may give ever more fervent thanks to you, the one true God. Through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord Holy Father, and at all times to acclaim you, O Lord, but in this time, above all, to laud you yet more gloriously when Christ, our Passover, has been sacrificed. He never ceases to offer himself for us, but defends us and even pleads our cause before you. He is the sacrificial victim who dies no more, the lamb once slain who lives forever. Therefore, overcome with paschal joy, every land, every people exalts in your praise. And even the heavenly powers with the angelic hosts sing together the unending hymn of your glory as they acclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord the font of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and, giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. <laughs> Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray 
that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis our Pope and David our Bishop and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the blessed apostles and glorious martyrs, and with all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. At the Savior's command and form of divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us, and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. The peace of the Lord be with all of you. Let us offer one another a sign of peace. Lamb of God, Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, my soul shall be healed.
Let us pray. May the heavenly table at which we have been fed, O Lord, confer eternal life upon us, as even in this world it nourished the life of St. Catherine through Christ our Lord. Good morning. Thanks for noticing me. Sorry, real quickly. Uh, we have two funerals coming up today and tomorrow, one for Jean Melkor this morning and then tomorrow for Janice Mullen. Please pray for the repose of their souls and for their families for comfort for them. Second, we don't have very many young couples who show up for 7.30 a.m. Mass, but if you look over on to the, my right over here, um, you will see, well, only part of the family now, apparently. Uh, this is Kramer and Andrea Soderberg. Kramer has our, been our speaker. He was here yesterday for our Religious Ed Kids, and he will be here today at 2 p.m. and 6 p.m. Um, it will be worth your while. I trust, trust me. I watched three last night, and it'll be worth your time if you... Uh, if you want to come. And if you can't make it, um, we'll be live streaming the event at 6 p.m. on our Facebook page, and it'll be out there after. So if you want to say hi to Kramer and his wonderful family after Mass, I'm sure they'll stick around. And we wish to pray for our vocation leaders of our diocese that they truly may welcome many vocations to priesthood. We, as we pray, Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. We say the prayer to St. Joseph. Good St. Joseph, as you led the Holy Family, watch over our families. Help our family and all families to know and share God's love. In our family relationships, may we find healing and seek to be holy. May our fathers help us to become faithful disciples of Jesus, who share our love for him. As foster father of Jesus, watch over all who serve as spiritual fathers. In a special way, bless our Holy Father, our bishop and our priests. May they follow your humble example and their fatherly care for the people of God, the church. With Mary, you raised Jesus the high priest. You know our need for priests. Please raise up good and holy priests from our families to serve the people of our diocese. May our children and grandchildren hear and say yes to the call of Jesus, just as you and Mary did. Good St. Joseph, pray for us. We pray the prayer to St. Michael. St. Michael, the archangel, defend us in battle. Be our protection against the wickedness and snares of the devil. God, rebuke him, we humbly pray. And do thou, O Prince of the heavenly host, by the power of God, thrust into hell Satan and the other evil spirits who prowl about the world for the ruin of souls. Amen. The Lord be with you. May Almighty God bless you in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Go forth to proclaim the gospel with your life. Number 420. Trust the goodness of creation, trust the spirit strong within, dare to dream the vision, this sprung from seed of what has been. Let us bring the gifts of it ever, and in splendid varied ways, Sing a new church into being, one in faith and love and praise. Bring the hopes of every nation, bring the art of every race. Weave a song of peace and justice, let it sound through time and space. Let us bring the gifts that differ and in splendid varied ways sing a new church into being one in faith and love and praise 